p.m. to go. So it's the 4th of January and um, it's Monday and you're due on Thursday. I'm kind of freaking out. Not about you coming. I want you to come. I'm just worried that you won't come, which I know I'm worried about something that um, hasn't even happened yet, which is probably not good. So I'm sorry. I, I just want you to come and I want to make sure that we can do it at home. I want you to be safe um, and healthy and I think that you're going to come safely. I think that we're going to be able to have you at home safely um, and healthily. Just worried about making the right decision. Um, and then I'm worried that you won't come by 42 weeks and then I'm not going to know what to do. But maybe it's just a phase today that I'm just freaking out. Um, as the date's getting closer. I know it's normal to go over the due date. Um, it seems like the days are just flying by, but... Um, we talked to the midwife today, and she said that we still have time. Not two weeks is a long time. Um in the birth world, so you still have plenty of time to come out so that we can have a home birth. If it goes past the 21st, then we can't, um, and we'll have to go to the hospital and get in, I don't know if we'll have to get induced or what the deal is, but um, I just don't want to do anything that's going to hurt you. I just want to make sure that you're safe and healthy. Um, yeah, so, and then just a little bit emotional today. I just, I want you to come and I want you to be safe, but I'm really excited to have you at home. I don't know why I expected you to come earlier, uh, but I know Everybody says first time moms, it does take a long time, or it could take longer. Um, so, hopefully you'll, you'll be here within like a week or so. 41 weeks would be good. Um, then it, that's considered normal, so. Everything in the pregnancy has been healthy so far, so I just want I don't want to have any issues because we've had like a really healthy pregnancy. Um, but yeah, that's just how I'm feeling right now. But you're doing good. Your heart rate's good. Um, you're measuring good. Um, you're in the right position. The midwife said you'll probably be between seven to eight pounds a good size. I was like 7.2 or something so maybe you'll be around the same as me. Oh I'm so emotional today. I've been having different kinds of sensations um, and some waves or surges but um, not super consistent unless I'm walking. I've been having, um, they call it lightning crotch, which is <laughs> funny, but, um, it's like sh a shock. It's like a shock. Uh, it could be like in your inner thigh, the back of your thigh area, different areas. I've been having that the last couple of days a lot. Um, and then all of a sudden since yesterday, I've just been feeling like crying randomly and I'm not sad or anything. I just feel like crying. Um, so I think it's like my hormones or something are kicking in, but I am so ready to meet you. 
I want to meet you so badly and I, I really, 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 really want to have a beautiful experience with, I, I really want you to have that. Um, and I want you to be safe and healthy and I want to do the right thing. And it's kind of hard because like, I, I feel like I know what the right thing to do is and I know what my gut is telling me and I think it's to have you at home. I don't have good feelings when I go to Sharp, um, to the doctors. And the OB who is treating me is now on maternity leave, so it's gonna be somebody I haven't been working with. Um, and then if I go to a hospital, it'll be like someone delivering who I never even met. Um, so really, I don't have good feelings about it. I have good feelings about our care team, um, the midwives, I trust them. I really do trust them. I really don't think that they, they don't have anything to gain and, uh, you know, doing a home birth with me. Like they're not gaining anything from this. Um, and I trust that they would tell me if I needed to go into the hospital. Um, so it's just getting other people's ideas and opinions uh, in my head. So I need to do a better job of filtering that out and getting out of my own head and not uh, freaking myself out about things that haven't even happened yet. But I'm so excited to meet you and um, I'm just game like I'm ready to do this. I feel like I feel like I'm ready. I feel like I'm ready like I could do this. Um, we can do this. I think I think we could do this. And I think we can have a really good experience together. <sighs> I just don't know when it will start. And I I just I really please God. Um I just want it to just be able to just happen naturally. I really don't want it to have to be in intervened in any way. I just, I really, I mean, I want the experience for you and to go, but I also am curious and I also want to experience it. I want to feel it and I want us to have this together. I really do. And I feel like I have um, prepared. I really tried. Um, to prepare mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally. I've been working at this, so I just please, I know everything happens for a reason. I know that you can't always have what you want, but please, 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 can I just please have this one thing, please? And I please can I have it for Indigo too? And just our family. And please, can she just come safely and healthy, please? Um, okay, so I'll also show you. This is a bump today. I think it looks cute. They look cute. And Ooh, see, that that was a lightning crotch. It's, it's like a shock. Um, yeah, so this is... Take off the jacket. So, at 39 weeks, there's not too many different sensations. Um, the main thing I noticed the difference at 38 weeks is that my face got uh, pretty chunky. So, but other than that, I personally feel pretty good. I do, you know, I have different kinds of sensations. I have like the lightning crotch or whatever. Um, I get 
contractions, I'm trying to call them surges because um, they get, or waves, I get those when I'm walking. Uh, what else? I really honestly don't feel terrible. Like, everybody's like, oh, I don't feel terrible. Um, which, I don't know. You know, I don't know what someone else's experience is, and I'm not knocking that. I, just my personal experience, that I feel pretty good. Um, especially, like, this last week, I feel like I have energy. So that's why I'm like so game to do this i'm so ready um and it's just i guess it's it's really just a test of patience um to know you know if you have to be patient so trying to be patient but i'd like to meet you um little lady I want to meet you and I very 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 want you to be healthy but you look so cute I really like this pump <laughs>